Hi there! In this episode of the Learn SAP in 5 minute series, we are going to see how to create a document. In order to create a document in SAP, you will have to use the transaction code CV01N and to press Enter. You are here in the initial screen, creation of a document in SAP. You will have here several fields to take care about. First, here, it's the document number. If it is configured as external number assignment, you will have here to insert the document number. Otherwise, SAP will do it automatically. Then, here, you have the document type. So, is it an instruction? Is it a formula? Is it a manual? Etc. Etc. You will have to select an already configured document type. Let's suppose in our case, we would like to create a document as a QM for quality manual. Let's double click on it. And here, the last one is the document version. Then let's press enter to create the document. Here, you will have first a pop-up in order to indicate to SAP what is the first or the initial status to a set in the document. Let's suppose that the first status will be in work. So I will double click on it. And now we are in the basic data QM manual. This is our document type of the document creation. On this screen, you will first here recover the header of the document. So in this field, you will have the document number. For the moment, we have a star because the document is not already created. Here you will have the document part and here the version of the document. The first one is consequently 0, 0. Then you have the first tab here, document data. In this tab, you will recover the general information of the document. First here, the description of the document. Let's suppose here, quality instruction. Then you have the document status in work, so it is currently in work and not released yet, and here the user who creates the documents. Then you have the second tab, the descriptions. In this case, we have first one a description in one language, in English, we have this description of document, but you can, if you would like to, add some description of the document in other languages such as in French, in German, and so on. Let me interrupt you five seconds. If you are interested in our content, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and activate the bell in order to be notified each time we will publish a new training video in SAP. Then you will have the third and last tab, the Originals tab. In this tab, you will be able to attach your document directly to the SAP document. To do it, you will have to use this button, create the blank page, and on this pop-up, on the last field, original, you will have to recover the file which is saved on your PC. So I will select here on my desktop the PDF here, document quality instructions. I will click on open. This is the link until my document quality instructions and SAP automatically recognize the extension or the format of the document, in this case, a PDF. Here, you can also insert a description of your document in the original view. So here I will set, for example, quality instructions, and then I will press enter. And at this time, we attach the document, the PDF document, to the SAP document. Let's now save the document in order to create it in the SAP database. So I will use here the save button in order to create it. So here we have the SAP information message. We created a Q00, the document type, document with this number. 
This is the document part and this is the version. If we create a new version, SAP will attribute the, the version number 01, 02, 03 and so on. Here, this is also the information about our document. We can go, for example, in change mode. This is the T code CV02N. We can press enter and in the document, you can, for example, change the document status. Let's suppose that now we would like to attribute the document status inspection required, or you can also uh, set the locked status to the document. Let's suppose we would like to now uh, make an approbation, an approval of the document, so we will set the status inspection required. We will press enter, and here you can see the new status of the document. And then let's save it to save the changes. Thanks to you for watching this video. Don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel if you like our content and to visit our website to know more about SAP. See you soon!